are pretty seriously underestimating what's ahead of us with progress in artificial intelligence and machine learning. And I know there's a great deal of hype out there these days. Not all of it is appropriate, but in general, I think we're still lowballing what's ahead of us. The way that we have learned to bring together minds and machines over the course of the computer era is due for a huge reset, a, a deeply profound change in the way that we combine what we humans actually are good at, what we should be doing as we divide up all the work, with the new capabilities that the machines are demonstrating. Everybody in this room is an expert recognizer of other human faces. Nobody in this room can explain how they do that well enough for a computer to pick it up and follow the rules about recognizing faces. All of us know much more than we can tell. Now, like you can imagine, this kind of places a, a hard ceiling on the kinds of knowledge you can give to the machines if you think about what humans should be doing, programmers should be doing, as codifying human knowledge. It doesn't work. The DeepMind team keeps pushing this pretty hard, and they built a system that, again, starting with no human knowledge, no human expertise, could spin itself up, not in the matter of weeks or months or whatever, in a matter of hours to hitting very, very high-level performance. Maybe not beating the best human in the world, but very, very high-level performance in not just one game, but two or three different games. And one of them was good old-fashioned chess, four hours to becoming a very, very good chess player. But again, the interesting thing is not so much just that the machine plays better than people. To me, the really interesting thing, the machine seems to play differently than human beings do. The more you look at the capabilities of our mental hardware, the more you realize how buggy it is. We have these glitches and flaws and biases and all these things in our mental hardware that get in the way of us making objectively good decisions over and over again. So when you combine these crazy digital abilities with this huge list of flaws that we have, Again, the question comes up, you know, in this future that, that I'm talking about, are we going to need minds? Do they have anything more than kind of a peripheral role of feeding data into the machine and a few bright people to program it? And I think that's absolutely not what's going to happen in the future. We're still going to need minds a great deal in this world that we're creating. We're just going to need them to focus on some pretty different things than has historically been the case. Machines are amazing at so many things, the degree to which they lack common sense is really astonishing. They showed computers to Pablo Picasso in about 1973, and his reaction was fantastic and completely dismissive. He said, yeah, these things are useless. They can only give you answers. I think he's exactly half right. They're not useless at all, but they can only give you answers. This job of figuring out what question to go pursue, what to go next in the world, for now, that's still a very human job. And the value of those high-level social skills is skyrocketing because it turns out the, the business world and the, the natural world are still full of these weird, messy creatures called human beings. And we need a whole lot of human interfaces with those other human beings. We have not come close to swapping out all those social interfaces for a piece of AI, for a screen, for any kind of technology. Just fundamentally, the way we're going to bring all of our abilities to the table and the way we're going to partner with machines is, in a lot of domains, I think, going to go through a pretty standard, pretty severe 180 degree shift. So I like this idea that the first draft in the future might not come from a human mind in all cases anymore. It might come from a piece of technology. But in more and more domains, the machines are going to open up huge amounts of new territory. And our job is to go pursue that territory in partnership with them. The reason I'm so fundamentally excited is, wow, our partnership for pursuing the big questions is suddenly much better than it's ever been before. I'm fundamentally optimistic, thrilled about that. Thanks very much.